A man who rules, governs, or directs either men or business. A man who owns slaves is their master. He who has servant is their master. He who has a, a, a prestige is their master, as he has the government and direction of them. The man who super superintends and directs any business is master and master work man. Sa uh, dictionary po ng Bible, yung po master, it refers to Lord also. Lord, small letter L. In Luke 5, 5 verse 5, Peter called Jesus a master. The 10 levers in Luke 17, 13 called Jesus a master. Ano naman po ang meaning ng servants? Bro, pwedeng pakibasa. In 1 Corinthians 4 verse 1, Paul called himself an Apollo as mere servants of Christ who have put in charge to explain God's mysteries. Properly, one that waits, that is, stops, holds, attends, or one that is bound. Amen. Yun po yung meaning ng servants. And in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 1, Paul called himself an Apollo a mere servants of Christ who have put in charge of explaining God's mysteries. I believe lahat po tayo ng tumanggap ay servants ng Panginoon. Amen. 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 Meron tayong duty, meron tayong uh, task na iniwan ng Panginoon sa atin upang gampanan yung iniwan niyang gawain dito sa lupa. Who then is the faithful and wise servant? Is he the one who thinks that his master won't be back for a while and he begins beating the other servants? Partying and getting drunk? Yun ba yung wise servants? No, amen, no? I tell you the truth, meron pong answer ang Bible dyan. Sabi sa Matthew 24, 50, 51, The master will return and announce an expected and unexpected and he will cut that servant into pieces and assign him in a place where the hypocrites in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Tandaan po na yun natin. Mayroon nga tayong mansion sa langit. Amen? Amen. Sino pa naniniwala may mansion tayo sa langit? Amen. 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 May mansion tayo sa langit. Pero there's no room for a hypocrite. Wala pong room ang hypocrite doon. Who then is a faithful and wise servant. He must be sincere in verse 1, verse 45, he must be sincere and responsible to the given dust. He is in charge of his household. In John 21, 15, kung ma ma malalaman po natin, kung natatandaan po natin, ng, ng si Peter, before Christ mag siya sa heaven, Si Peter po ay bumalik sa dati niyang gawin. Pumunta siya sa dagat upang mangisda. At magdamag silang nangisda, wala silang nahuli. So, sa pangpang na andun ang Panginoong Jesus, pero hindi pa nila nalalaman, hindi pa nila kilala. So, ang sabi ng Diyos, may nahuli na ba kayo? Pinaparapraise ko lang po. May nahuli na ba kayo? Wala pa. Sabi ng, ng Panginoong Jesus, itapon niyo yung lambat niyo sa gawing kanan. Ang sabi ng, ni Pedro, Ang dami na namin ginawa, or ang dami na tagal na namin naghintay, pero wala pa kami nahuli. Pero si Jesus, sundin namin kayo. So, nung sinunod niya, marami silang nahuli. At nung na sila'y nasa pangpang, sila'y kumakain. Pagkatapos silang kumain, tinanong ng, ng Panginoong Jesus. Sabi niya, So, when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, Do you love me more than this? He said to him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to him, Ten my lambs. Ten my lambs. Tayo po mga believer, mayroon tayong gawain na iniwan ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo to ten the lambs. Ano po ba ang definition ng lambs? Ano po ba ang pagkakaiba ng lambs sa sheep? Yung lamb po, yun yung batang sheep. Eh yung sheep. Siyempre, yun yung matanda. Matandang lamb. Patawa na. So, tayo, sinabi po dyan, lambs, ha? hindi lang po dapat yung inaalagaan natin isa. So, tayo, we are given a task by our Lord. 
Jesus Christ to take care of the lamb. Kagaya nitong gawain ganito. Si Brother Francis, si Brother Ernest, itinilaga sila rito upang alagaan or upang maging overseer nito. Gayun din po tayo. Itinilaga tayo dito upang pakainin din yung mas nakakababata pa sa atin. Hindi ko sinasabi dito yung edad. We are talking uh, about spiritual maturity. Siguro kung may bago, yung pagiging kristyano mo, yung pinapakita mong pinamumuha yung kristyano mo, it's like an encouragement na doon sa mga bago. So, dapat maging careful tayo sa ipinamumuhay natin. When we are saying na uh, anak tayo ng Diyos, dapat yung anak tayo ng Diyos, ipamuhay natin na anak tayo ng Diyos. Maging, hindi pa tayo nagsisimula, nag-witnessing na tayo. Amen? Amen. Amen. He must be sincere and responsible to the given task. Una, sabi niya, in charge of his household. Pangala, to give food and supplies at the proper time. Sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, sa verse 4, 1 to 2, In the presence of God and the Christ, of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of His appearing and His kingdom, I give you this charge. Anong sabi ni Timothy? Preach the word. Be prepared. In season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Kung may kapatid tayo, mga kapatid, kung may kapatid tayo, inassign tayo upang tumayo dito, hindi po natin kailangan i-delay yung gawain ng Diyos. When Brother Wendell assigned us here to speak or to stand in front of us, huwag tayo magatubili. Kasi gawain ito ng Diyos eh. Delaying the, na, ang gawain ng Diyos is like disobedience. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Pag dinilay natin yung gawain ng Diyos, dinidisobey lang natin ang Panginoon. At huwag po tayo mag-alala. Nasaan na? Nasabi po rito, to give food and supplies at the proper time. So, kung tayo po ay tatayo rito, ang faithful servants, kailangan yung ibibigay niyang salita is is yung may proper nutrient. Salimbawa, kung ang church natin ay maraming nagihirap, we should emphasize on giving. Amen po ba doon? Because when you give, God will return it. Full measure, press down, shaken together, running over. So kung ang church ay nagkakahiwalay, emphasize mo ang love. Magbalik tayo sa elementary, yung basic love. Ganon din po kung ang church ay nanghihina. Kung may mga tao nanghihina, may mga kapatiran tayo nang nanghihina, ipakain mo yung food, spiritual food, about encouragement. Amen? So ganon po yan. To give food and supplies of the proper time. At ang kagandahan po rin po, yung pagdi-disciple ni Paul kay Timothy, yung sinabi niya rito, na in and out, uh, uh, in season and out of season, we need to preach the good news. Huwag po tayo mag Kung tayo believer, kung tayo believer, kung tayo mananampalataya ng Panginoong Jesus, ipasubo mo lang yung sarili mo and God will do the rest. I-empower ka niyan. Ang kailangan lang po yung heart natin yung heart natin ang paggamit sa kanya. Number two, in verse 45, He should be equipped to serve others. Amen? Kaya nga kanina sinabi ko, pag inassign ka, huwag ka nang mag-atubili. Huwag ka nang maghanap ng kung ano-anong materials kasi meron na tayong materials. Ito yung salita ng Diyos. Amen? Dito tayo humanap. The moment na ma-receive mo yung text mo or yung assigned na verse na i-discuss mo, start praying. We need to start praying. At kung ayaw mo muna mag, ano, uh, mag-pray or ayaw mo muna mag-aral, make sure na yung time mo na, pag-time mo na, huwag mong ibitin ang kapatid. Amen? 
Kasi, magrarab ka lang ng joy sa iba. Ang, ang, ang mangyayari, yung susunod na kapatid, yun ang mapipressure upang mag-aral ng, ng biglaan. So, sabi sa, sa 2 Timothy 1.7, For God did not give us a spirit of timidity. So, kung anong, kung hindi pala tayo binigyan ng, ng Diyos ng spirit ng timidity, ano yung spirit ang nasa sa atin kung hindi tayo tatayo? Ako ay nabibless sa isang kapatid natin na kahit na bago, kahit na bago, si Sister Annette, nabibless ako sa kanya kasi nung una siyang naandi dito, ang sinabi niya sa atin, ako talaga sa gradong patolik. Pero alam niyo po ba, inilang ko yung pagtayo niya rito, naaramihan niya pa ako. <laughs> Pangatlo ka na yata ng sister na eh. Uh, ako pangatlo ko pa lang ngayon. So naunahan niya pa ako. Di ba nakaka-bless yung kapatid na ganyan? Pag ikaw ay tumayo na ganyan, nagiging encouragement ka sa ating mga kapatid. Hindi ko ma-bless. Di ba siya ay nagbibigay ng encouragement? Sabi po sa Luke 4.18, pagbuli ng verse ni Brother Francis, maaari po bang basahin natin ito kung hindi natin sa ulado, na sabay-sabay? At i-claim po natin that the Spirit of the Lord is upon us. Amen? Amen. Ready, go. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom.